Okay, so in order to get that uh, LS engine into that Lincoln, we have to make some uh, mounts to mount the motor in. Um, there's a couple different ways of doing it, uh, but the problem with the LS or the challenge with the LS is, and the Lincoln is that uh, there's a lot of mounts that have been made for Chevy cars because obviously it's Chevy to Chevy, but there's not that many m mounts made for from Chevy to Ford. So uh, we have to make some mounts. There's some options though. You can buy some expensive mounts from multiple people out there that are making them or you can just make the mounts yourself. And it's really not that straightforward. What you're gonna need is, um, you're gonna need some metal, uh, some metal, uh, a metal plate. So this is, uh, that's a quarter inch steel. And that's a quarter inch steel plate. So this is just a quarter inch steel plate. You're gonna make. You're gonna need some um, three-eighths pipe. Some three-eighths pipe. And you can either buy these or make them. I mean, the, you can. It. Uh, these tabs are. I mean, you can buy them anywhere. You can buy them on eBay. Um. And, and or any metal supply store, you can get them at. So. And this is how the mount's gonna look when it's built. I mean, my welds are not the best, but that's, in general, that's the end result. It's not that difficult. Um, you don't have to make this, uh, it, this does not have to be a co very complicated job. Um, so to get started, get some, gog get some goggles. Get your, that trusty grinder with a nice cutting wheel, a cut off wheel. Measure out the, the 3 8 tube, depending how long you want it. Because you're gonna need, you don't wanna make it too big because then you won't be able to sl uh, slide your, uh, your motor mounts onto it. So just make it enough so it fits. And don't think too much about it. If you think too much about it, you'll never get anything done. Get your, get your one glove, slap that thing on, and just get to it. So first thing I'm going to do is cut, cut that 3 8 tube and make it look like that mount. So I just need something about that wide. Now that, now that the uh, 3 8 tube is cut, uh, you need to put the tabs on there. And, and it's gonna look, the bracket's gonna look just like that. And that's all you're doing, just like that. So we need something to support it before we can throw a bead on there. Okay. So we got the, we got the tabs. We got the tube that we cut out. Just put a bolt through there. A couple washers just to hold it in place. Space it out. Get it aligned. And this is pretty much how it's going to look at the end.
I mean, and this is just one way of doing it. 